everyone. God bless each and every single one of you. Welcome to the Good Book Project. Today is January 21st, 2023, and it is day 21 in our chronological Bible in a Year video podcast. Yesterday for day 20, we read Genesis 25 through 26. Now that included Abraham's burial and his death. It included the families of Isaac and Ishmael. And it also included Abimelech, king of the Philistines, and his covenant with Jacob as well. We continue on in day 21 in Genesis 27. And I will praise into the word and we'll get right into it. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to you with gratitude, Father God. We come to you with thankfulness, Father God, because once again, you have given us the ability to read your word, Father God. In your loving mercy, you woke us up again, Father God, and we bless you for that, and we are forever grateful, Father God. Today, for our reading today, Father, bless us and help us understand what you are trying to tell us today as we read your holy word. In the name of Jesus, I pray, amen. We continue on in day 21 in Genesis 27. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Word of God reads. Genesis 27. When Isaac was old, and his eyes were dim, so that he could not see, he called Esau his elder son, and said to him, My son? He said to him, Here I am. He said, See now, I am old. I don't know the day of my death. Now therefore, please, take your weapons, your quiver and your bow, and go out to the field and get me venison. Make me savory food, such as I love and bring it to me, that I may eat, and that my soul may bless you before I die. Rebekah heard when Esau spoke to Esau, his son. Esau went to the field to hunt for venison, and to bring it. Rebekah spoke to Jacob, her son, saying, Behold, I heard your father speak to Esau, your brother, saying, Bring me venison, and make me savory food, that I may eat, and bless you before the Lord, before my death. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice according to that which I command you. Now go to the flock, and get me two good young goats from there. I will make them savory food for your father, such as he loves. You shall bring it to your father, that he may eat so that he may bless you before his death. Jacob said to Rebekah his mother, Behold, Esau my brother is a hairy man, and I am a smooth man. What if my father touches me? I will seem to him as a deceiver, and I would bring a curse on myself, and not a blessing. His mother said to him, Let your curse be on me, my son. Only obey my voice, and go get them for me. He went, and got them, and brought them to his mother. His mother made savory food, such as his father loved. Rebekah took the good clothes of Esau, her elder son, which were with her in the house, and put them on Jacob, her younger son. She put the skins of the young goats on his hands, and on the smooth of his neck. She gave the savory food and the bread, which she had prepared, into the hand of her son Jacob. He came to see his father and said, My father? He said, Here I am. Who are you, my son? Jacob said to his father, I am Esau, your firstborn. I have done what you asked me to do. Please arise, sit, and eat of my venison, that your soul may bless me. Isaac said to his son, How is it that you have found it so quickly, my son? 
He said, Because the Lord, your God, gave me success. Isaac said to Jacob, Please come me near, that I may feel you, my son, whether you are really my son Esau or not. Jacob went near to Isaac, his father. He felt him and said, The voice is Jacob's voice, but the hands are the hands of Esau. He didn't recognize him because his hands were hairy, like his brother Esau's hands. So he blessed him. He said, Are you really my son Esau? He said, I am. He said, Bring it near to me, and I will eat of my son's venison, that my soul may bless you. He brought it near to him, and he ate. He brought him wine, and he drank. His father Isaac said to him, Come near now, and kiss me, my son. He came near and kissed him. He smelled the smell of his clothing, and blessed him, and said, Behold, the smell of my son is as the smell of a field which the Lord has blessed. God give you of the dew of the sky, of the fatness of the earth, and plenty of grain, and new wine. Let peoples serve you, and nations bow to you. Be Lord over your brothers. Let your mother's sons bow down to you. Cursed be everyone who curses you. Blessed be everyone who blesses you. As soon as Isaac had finished blessing Jacob, and Jacob had just gone out from the presence of Isaac, his father, Esau, his brother, came in from his hunting. He also made savory food and brought it to his father. He said to his father, Let my father arise and eat of his son's venison that your soul may bless me. Isaac, his father, said to him, Who are you? He said, I am your son, your firstborn, Esau. Isaac trembled violently and said, Who then is he who has taken venison and brought it to me? And I have eaten of all before you came, and have blessed him. Yes. He will be blessed. When Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with an exceedingly great and bitter cry, and said to his father, Bless me, even me also, my father. He said, Your brother came with deceit, and has taken away your blessing. He said, Isn't he rightly named Jacob? For he has supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright. See, now he has taken away my blessing. He said, Haven't you reserved a blessing for me? Isaac answered Esau, Behold, I have made him your Lord, and all his brothers I have given him to, I have given to him for servants. I have sustained him with grain and new wine. What then will I do for you, my son? Esau said to his father, do you have just one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, my father. Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Isaac his father answered him, Behold, your dwelling will be of the fatness of the earth and of the dew of the sky from above. You will live by your sword, and you will serve your brother. It will happen when you will break loose that you will shake his yoke from off your neck. Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing which his, with which his father blessed him. Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then I will kill my brother, Jacob. The words of Esau, her elder son, were told to Rebekah. She sent and called Jacob, her younger son and said to him, Behold, your brother Esau comforts himself about you by planning to kill you. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice. Arise, flee to Laban, my brother, 
in Haran. Stay with him a few days until your brother's fury turns away. Until your brother's anger turns away from you and he forgets what you have done to him. Then I will send and get you from there. Why should I be bereaved of you both in one day? Rebekah said to Isaac, I am weary of my life because of the daughters of Heth. If Jacob takes a wife of the daughters of Heth, such as these, of the daughters of the land, what good will my life do me? Genesis 28 Isaac called Jacob, blessed him, and commanded him. You shall not take a wife of the daughters of Canaan. Arise, go to Badan Aram, to the house of Bethuel, your mother's father. Take a wife from there, from the daughters of Laban, your mother's brother. May God Almighty bless you and make you fruitful and multiply you, that you may be a company of peoples and give you the blessing of Abraham. To you and to your offspring with you, that you may inherit the land where you travel, which God gave to Abraham. Isaac sent Jacob away. He went to Padan Aram, to Laban, son of Bethuel, the Syrian, the brother of Rebekah, Jacob's and Esau's mother. Now Esau saw that Isaac had blessed Jacob and sent him away to Padan Aram to take him a wife from there. And that he blessed him, and that as he blessed him, he gave him a command, saying, You shall not take a wife of the daughters of Canaan. And that Jacob obeyed his father and his mother and was gone to Padam Aram. Esau saw that the daughters of Canaan didn't please Isaac, his father. So Esau went to Ishmael and took, in addition to the wives that he had, Mahalath, the daughter of Ishmael, Abraham's son, the sister of Nebaioth, to be his wife. Jacob went out from Beersheba and went towards Haran. He came to a certain place and stayed there all night because the sun had set. He took one of the stones of the place and put it under his head and lay down in that place to sleep. He dreamt and saw a stairway set upon the earth and its top reached to heaven. Behold, the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. Behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord, the God of Abraham, your father, and the God of Isaac. I will give you the land you lie on to you and to your offspring. Your offspring will be as the dust of the earth, and you will spread abroad to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south. In you and your offspring, and in your offspring, all the families of the earth will be blessed. Behold, I am with you, and will keep you wherever you go, and will bring you again into this land. For I will not leave you until I have done that which I have spoken of to you. Jacob awakened out of his sleep, and he said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I didn't know it. He was afraid, and said, How awesome this place is! This is none other than God's house, and this is the gate of heaven. Jacob rose up early in the morning, and took the stone that he had put under his head, and set it up for a pillar, and poured oil on its top. He called the name of that place Bethel, but the name of the city was loose at the first. Jacob vowed a vow, saying, If God will be with me, and will keep me in this way that I go, and will give me bread to eat, and clothing to put on, so that I come again to my father's house in peace, and the Lord 
will be my God. Then this stone, which I have set up for a pillar, will be God's house. Of all that you will give me, I will surely give a tenth to you. Genesis 29 Then Jacob went on his journey and came to the land of the children of the east. He looked and saw a well in the field and saw three flocks of sheep lying there by it. For out of that well they watered the flocks. The stone on the well's mouth was large. There all the flocks were gathered. They rolled the stone from the well's mouth and watered the sheep and put the stone back on the well's mouth in its place. Jacob said to them, My relatives, where are you from? They said, We are from Haran. He said to them, Do you know Laban, the son of Nahor? They said, We know him. He said to them, Is it well with him? They said, It is well. See, Rachel, his daughter, is coming with the sheep. He said, Behold, it is still the middle of the day, not time to gather the livestock together. Water the sheep, and go and feed them. They said, We can't, until all the flocks are gathered together, and they roll the stone from the well's mouth. Then we will water the sheep. While he was yet speaking with them, Rachel came with her father's sheep, for she kept them. When, Ra when Jacob saw Rachel, the daughter of Laban, his mother's brother, and the sheep of Laban, his mother's brother, Jacob went near and rolled the, sto the stone from the well's mouth and watered the flock of Laban, his bro mother's brother. Jacob kissed Rachel and lifted up his voice and wept. Jacob told Rachel that he was her father's relative and that he was Rebekah's son. She ran and told her father. When Laban heard the news of Jacob, his sister's son, he ran to meet Jacob and embraced him and kissed him and brought him to his house. Jacob told Laban all these things. Laban said to him, Surely you are bone, you are my bone and my flesh. Jacob stayed with him for a month. Laban said to Jacob, Because you are my relative, should you therefore serve me for nothing? Tell me, what will your wages be? Laban had two daughters. The name of the elder was Leah, and the name of the younger was Rachel. Leah's eyes were weak, but Rachel was, so, was beautiful in form and attractive. Jacob loved Rachel. He said, I will serve you seven years for Rachel, your younger daughter. Laban said, It is better that I give her to you than that I should give her to another man. Stay with me. Jacob served seven years for Rachel. They seemed to him but a few days for the love he had for her. Jacob said to Laban, Give me my wife, for my days are fulfilled, that I might go into her. Laban gathered together all the men of the place and made a feast. In the evening he took Leah, his daughter, and brought her to Jacob. He went into her. Laban gave Zilpah, his servant, to his daughter Leah for a servant. In the morning, behold, it was Leah. He said to Laban, What is this you have done to me? Didn't I serve with you for Rachel? Why then have you deceived me? Laban said, It is not done so in our place, to give the younger before the firstborn. Fulfill the week of this one, and we will give you the other also for the service which you will serve with me for seven more years. Jacob did so, 
and fulfilled her week. He gave him Rachel his daughter as wife. Laban gave Bilhah, his servant, to his daughter Rachel to be her servant. He went also to Rachel. He went in also to Rachel. And he loved also Rachel more than Leah and served with him seven more years. The Lord saw that Leah was hated, and he opened her womb, but Rachel was barren. Leah conceived and bore a son, and she named him Reuben. For she said, Because the Lord has looked at my affliction, for now my husband will love me. She conceived again and bore a son and said, Because the Lord has heard that I am hated, he has therefore given me this son also. She named him Simeon. She conceived again, and bore a son. She said, Now this time my husband will be joined to me, because I have borne him three sons. Therefore his name was called Levi. She conceived again, and bore a son. She said, This time I will praise the Lord. Therefore she named him Judah. Then she stopped bearing. Thank you, God, for the perfect word you've given us. So we read here that Jacob, in our passage yesterday, we read that Jacob told Esau, because Esau was hungry, to sell him his birthright for the lentil stew that he had made. And because Esau was so desperate, he sold him the birthright. And we read now in today's passage that Esau's blessing from Isaac was stolen by him, from by Jacob, because Esau was the firstborn of the two. And Rebekah wanted Jacob to be the one to have the blessing. So they deceived Isaac by bringing him what Isaac wanted and by putting skins, animal skins on him so that Isaac, who was blind, touched him, he would think that he was Esau. Now Isaac said that the voice was of Jacob's, but Esau was everything else with everything that he asked him to do plus the animal skins. So Jacob stole the blessing of Esau. Now Esau, rightfully so, was very angry and he wanted to kill his brother. Now, he shouldn't have wanted to do that, but he did. And Rebecca then heard of this and told Jacob to flee, to go to her brother, Laban, so that Esau would not kill him. So he left because he wanted to, he was told to marry someone of his family and not of the Canaanites. Esau, hearing this to spite his father, Isaac, ends up marrying a Canaanite. A someone who was of the land they were currently in and not of Abraham's house. So then we, as Jacob is fleeing, he has the dream where he puts the stone on the ground and he sees the dream of heaven, the, the stairway to heaven, and the angels coming down and going up from it. And then the Lord having the dream with Jacob, the same covenant that he made with Abraham and the same covenant he had with Isaac is now the same covenant that the Lord told Jacob he would have. So then Jacob blessed the land and said, this land is God's house. And he left the pillar that he laid his head on and said, when he returns, he will give the Lord a tenth of everything that he had, which is the tithe that we give now. So Abraham gave a tenth to the Lord's priests in an earlier chapter we read, and now Jacob gives a tenth again. So we see the beginnings of what the tithe is that we give to the church now. And at the end, we see Jacob leave to Laban, the brother of Rebekah, his mother. And then we see Jacob marry Leah and marry Rachel by, uh, ha by Laban. And then we see that... Jacob loved Rachel more than Leah, but Leah had seen, God had seen that Leah was hated and decided to bless her 
because Rachel was barren. And then the Lord blesses her with sons by Jacob. And the names are Simeon, there are Judah, Levi, and Reuben. So those so far are the first four sons that Jacob is born by Leah. Day 21 is complete. I will pray us out and we will go throughout this blessed day. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to you today, Father. Once again, thanking you for giving us the opportunity to read your perfect word, Father God. For today, Saturday, January 21st, 2023, Father, we ask that we walk in your will, Father God, and we walk in your blessing, Father God, that everything we do today will praise the name of the Lord, Father God. I love you, Jesus, because you are the perfect God for us, Father God. Thank you for your sacrifice, Jesus, and for saving all of us. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Day 22 will be tomorrow, and I hope you will return for it. For today, I hope you have a blessed day. <laughs>